I'm Colette Back, principal of Pine Creek High School. I am pleased to welcome you to the 21st commencement ceremony for Pine Creek High School. Today, we are celebrating the achievements of 436 unique individuals who make up the Pine Creek High School class of 2020. Many of you are proudly wearing academic regalia signifying your high school academic achievements. The highest honor bestowed on a graduate is recognition for excellence in academics. In the class of 2020, 166 seniors will graduate with academic honor or distinction. Their academic success is significant, and on behalf of the Pine Creek High School staff, we offer you and your parents sincere congratulations. Those students awarded a blue, green, and white academic cord have earned a 3.75 to a 3.99 grade point average and are designated as honor graduates. Based on class rank, the top 20% of the class are recognized as graduating with distinction and have been awarded medallions to signify high academic achievement. 116 members of the class of 2020 have earned between a 4.0 and a 4.83 grade point average. This class is scholarly indeed. We have 23 seniors who have earned straight A's for seven semesters. Additionally, we would like to honor 55 students in the class of 2020 who persevered despite senioritis kicking in sometime in early September, having earned straight A's for both semesters of their senior year. Student council members have received pins for their stoles. Thank you for your dedication and your service to Pine Creek High School. This year, curricular departments selected 160 students in the class of 2020 who were honored for their excellence in academics. Each of these students were awarded pins for their stoles. We have a special group of students being recognized as Flight of the Eagle medallion recipients. The Flight of the Eagle recognition is exclusive to Pine Creek High School and was established to recognize no more than 5% of the graduating class who have achieved in multiple areas of criteria. This group of seniors have demonstrated achievement and commitment in a broad range of endeavors. Students are academically successful, earning above a 3.75 grade point average. All staff voted, and seniors received nominations by more than five departments to include curricular departments, individual athletic teams, and activity programs. All of these students continuously exhibit characteristics of integrity, positive attitude, leadership, responsibility, care and concern for others, and the ability to achieve above and beyond. Simply stated, Pine Creek High School is better due to their contributions. Many students have been awarded honor cords. Students earning an honor cord have met the requirements of the National Honor Society organizations the cord represents, and they have excelled in areas of leadership, community service, and academic achievement. Thank you to the class of 2020 for the impact that each of you has made on our school. The entire staff of Pine Creek High School, your parents and friends, we are all extremely proud of your accomplishments. I am pleased to introduce senior class president, Emma Genrich. Emma has participated in Sources of Strength, Key Club, Screaming Eagles, French Honor Society, and Volleyball. She is graduating with distinction and the recipient of the Flight of the Eagle and Student Council MVP awards. She will be attending Wheaton College and is planning to work in a field where she can serve people such as education or medicine. The staff at this school is certainly unmatched. Every single person who has worked alongside us over the years has made a positive difference in our lives. We cannot thank you enough during this time especially for the sacrifices you have made to make this a successful last quarter, but also an incredible four years. I can't begin to imagine how hard it must have been to transition to a completely online course in a matter of hours, yet you did it seamlessly. You rose to the challenge and adjusted to the change for us. We thank you for the thoughtful emails, the life-giving Microsoft team calls, the kind notes on Schoology, the encouraging videos, and so much more. You have shown us that though change is not easy, with grit and dedication, we can accomplish anything together. We looked to you in this time of struggle, and we thank you for your guiding light. By you all demonstrating how to handle this situation with grace, patience, and endurance, we can only hope to emulate those characteristics as we move forward into this world. 
We thank you for this, all that you have done the past four years, and all that you will continue to do in our lives as we move forward. From opening your arms to us during your lunch so we can sit and learn more about you, to letting us come bother you during your planning period because we have nothing better to do in study hall. From the wisdom you poured into our lives as we sit in awe during American pop culture to the friendly, hey, how are you, in the hallway that always brightens our days in the midst of our hardest seasons. Because of you all, we have been well equipped to conquer the adversity that comes our way, because it will come our way, and we have seen firsthand how nothing in this life is guaranteed. However, thanks to you and your leadership, we can continue taking steps forward knowing that we will come out successful. The class of 2020 will miss you immensely. Thank you for everything. I am proud to recognize the class of 2020's valedictorian and salutatorian. Those students ranked number one and number two in the class. Impressive is an understatement. The class of 2020 salutatorian is Kyle Ma. Kyle's parents are Jeff and Don Gao. Kyle is graduating with a 4.73 grade point average. He earned straight A's for seven semesters and is a National Merit Commended Scholar and AP Scholar with distinction. Kyle was captain of the varsity tennis team and a member of Knowledgeable and Mu Alpha Theta. Kyle's favorite subject was BC Calculus with Mrs. Pierce. A favorite memory that he shared was attending the junior prom. Kyle is attending the University of Colorado at Boulder, where he is planning to major in computer science. He aspires to become a software engineer. He is the recipient of the Joseph Seawall Scholarship from CU. He'd like to thank his parents, his teachers, and his friends for supporting and encouraging him throughout high school. Congratulations, Kyle Ma, salutatorian of Pine Creek Class of 2020. The class of 2020 valedictorian is Angel Wang. Angel's parents are Xu Dong Wang and Sho Chin Chi. Angel is graduating with a 4.83 grade point average. She earned straight A's for seven semesters and is an AP scholar with distinction. Angel is the president of the National Honor Society, vice president of Mu Alpha Theta, and a member of Knowledgeable, Cyber Patriots, Rocky Mountain Robotics, Science NHS, and the volleyball and tennis teams. Angel's favorite subject was math, specifically linear algebra. Angel will be attending Caltech where she will be playing volleyball and she's planning to major in computer science. She aspires to work in the artificial intelligence field. She would like to thank her parents who have given unconditional love and support. They always put their children first and have pushed her to be the best that she can be. Congratulations, Angel Wing, valedictorian of Pine Creek's class of 2020. The student address will be given by a senior selected through a tryout process. Caroline Monberg attended Academy International, Antelope Trails, Mountain Ridge Middle School, and then Pine Creek High School. Caroline has been a member of Student Council, National Honor Society, Key Club, and the women's soccer and swim and dive teams. Caroline's favorite classes were AP Biology and AP Psychology. She is the proud recipient of a soccer, community, and academic scholarship. She is planning to attend Taylor University and will be studying health sciences. Her favorite memories include all of the friendships that were kindled and the friends, teachers, and staff who have forever touched her heart. I remember when I realized I would be graduating in 2020. It was my first day of middle school when we were no longer just categorized as sixth graders, but as the class of 2020. It seemed so far away at the time, but it got here a lot faster than we expected. For the world, 2020 was a year of new ingenuity, inventions, and forward progression. Back to the Future even thought we would be riding around on hoverboards and driving and flying cars by now. It is a year of newness and beginnings, but for us, it would always be the year we would put on our cap and gown and walk across the stage, symbolizing the closing of an old chapter and an opening to a new one. The beginning of a decade, a fresh start. This is 2020, our year. We were born in the shadow of September 11th when the world was suffering fear and tragedy. And now, here we are, 
graduating amidst the coronavirus pandemic while our world suffers this same fear and tragedy. Life is made up of the good and the bad, the highs and the lows. It is easy to let those moments define who we are, but we are the ones who get to choose what we are defined by. I say that we choose to be defined by everything except for COVID-19. This will not define the class of 2020. This will not be the last word. On October 31st, 2003, someone I deeply admire had to make this decision to not be defined by a tragedy in her life. An up and coming prodigy, Bethany Hamilton was predicted to be one of the best surfers in the world. On that morning, she lost her left arm in a shark attack. Life as she knew it changed dramatically. Not only would she have to learn how to live her life without something so familiar as an arm, but it seemed as if she would never be able to surf again. Being a surfer with one arm seemed impossible. Bethany could have chosen to let that moment define her life. She could have quit and forever been known as the shark girl, the girl who lost her arm and her future in a shark attack. But Bethany had a different mindset. Not only did she come out of her trauma as one of the best professional surfers in the world, but also as a world-renowned motivational speaker and activist. There are people in our class who are sitting amongst us today who have made those same decisions, who have suffered fear and tragedy, but looked at it in the face and chosen that they would not be defined by these things. All of us sitting here today in the midst of this pandemic have this same choice to make. The only things that are taken away from us are the things that we allow to be taken away. On March 13th, 2020, we had our last day of high school. Our last day walking around the halls of Pine Creek as students. The last time we would go through our schedules, stop to say hi to our favorite teachers, and sit in class with one another. No one knew that this would be the closure we would get. It could be so easy for us to let these last two months of high school define the class of 2020. But this does not define who we are. Our four years at Pine Creek are so much more than the two months that were stolen from us. When I look back on my years here, I will choose to remember so much more than what we didn't have, but look at what we did have. I will remember our resource officers who have grown up with us, teaching our parents what drop-off lane we were actually supposed to go to, and being the first faces we saw every morning for four years. I will remember Mrs. Kelly Stewart and how she learned each of our names by our sophomore year. If there was ever a time you felt like no one knew you, Kelly Stewart did. Not only did she know your name, but she knew something so unique and special about you. I will remember the late nights pounding out hours of homework and the early mornings that always came a little too soon. I will remember the people I met who made me better, the faces we passed day by day, the friendships that were kindled and the stories that connected. And of course, I will remember the goose, because if the class of 2020 can make a goose a president, then we can do anything. Our time at Pine Creek is not reflected by the lost memories during this pandemic. Our time here is defined by the knowledge we have gained, the teachers who have forever touched our hearts, the days we were on top of the world, and the days we didn't think we could make it. It is defined by the mountaintops, the valleys, and every bit in between. So my encouragement to the class of 2020 is this. May we not look back at our time and let it be defined by this tragedy. May we not be remembered as the class of coronavirus. Let us be known as the class of 2020, an iconic class, an iconic year to graduate, who endured so much pain and tragedy, but can still stand here today and say that we made it. Let us push forward in perseverance and know that we are only stronger for it. At this time, I am pleased to introduce Mr. Thomas Gregory, Superintendent of Academy District 20. Born and raised in Academy District 20, Mr. Gregory has a passion for the educational process and thrives on helping others succeed. He was a classroom teacher for 11 years, teaching math in both middle and high school. Mr. Gregory also coached football, softball, and baseball, and he served as an assistant principal and athletic director for four years in our district. He completed his 14th year as the leader for business operations in 2019, at which time he was appointed superintendent of Academy District 20. Please welcome Mr. Tom Gregory. Thank you, Caroline, for the introduction. And a virtual congratulations to the Pine Creek High School graduating class of 2020.
Before I begin my comments, I would like to recognize the folks who commit time and energy to make education possible and successful in District 20, the Academy 20 Board of Education. President and Pine Creek High School Board Liaison, Ms. Karen Reynolds. Vice President, Mr. Doug Lundberg. Treasurer, Mr. Tom LaValle. Director, Mr. Will Timby. Director, Mrs. Heather Cloninger and Air Force Academy liaison to the Board of Education, Colonel Troy Harding. Additionally, from Central Administration, our high school administrator, Dr. Jim Smith, Assistant Superintendent for Administrative Services. During the past weeks and months, many of you, many of you have reached out and shared your hopes for today. While this ceremony may not look how we imagined, I want to thank each of you for your flexibility resilience, and positivity. I would also like to thank Pine Creek High School Class of 2020 student Katie Cornelio for giving your time to my Student Advisory Council. Your honest feedback and insightful input have helped improve our district and community. Thank you, Katie. Graduates, you have spent the last 13 years deepening your knowledge of subjects like math, science, social studies, reading, and writing. At the same time, you've, you have formed friendships, discovered passions, and dreamed of your future. Today, as you finish the first chapters of your life's biography, we celebrate this milestone. High school graduation is the true beginning of adulthood. It is the most significant academic accomplishment of your developing story. As you begin to write the adult chapters of your bi biography, I hope, above all, it includes the lifelong acquisition of knowledge, love of country, and kindness to others. But before we look forward, let's take a moment and reflect on what will likely be one of the most unusual chapters of your biography. 2020 has not been typical and will not be a chapter easily glossed over. In so many ways, this was not a usual year. From numerous weather cancellations and delays during the first semester, to adding time to the school day the second semester, to missing out on many final events and activities. You have been asked to sacrifice much. Your last days and months of school together, you have been asked to sacrifice final assemblies and other recognitions with your peers, senior activities such as prom, senior breakfast or lunch, and senior sunset, and final sports seasons, theatrical productions, and concerts and now you are sacrificing a traditional graduation ceremony. While this has been difficult and not the way you imagined your senior year to end, you are not the first class of graduates asked to make sacrifice. In fact, you can find comfort that you are in good company. Many who came before you and at your exact age were forced to make more significant sacrifice. Several generations before you, graduates were drafted to serve and defend our liberties and freedoms in times of war. More specifically, the graduating classes of the greatest generation were forced to make substantial sacrifices multiple times during the Great Depression and then again a few years later during World War II. While your obligations are different, just like them, it has been your time to sacrifice. More importantly, it is your time to recover and move forward. They paved the way, and I am confident you will harness the same grit, determination, and ingenuity. It is during times of hardship and crisis when hope, innovation, and community are born. As you begin to fill your blank pages, I ask you don't get so consumed by your individual pursuits that you forget to be a good person. This may sound simple, but being a being a good person can present significant challenges. Think back to kindergarten where you learned some important lessons. According to Robert Fulgham, author of the book, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, you learned the most important rules of life when you were in kindergarten. And they were not about reading, writing, or arithmetic. You learned what is most important about how to live, what to do, and how to be. In kindergarten, you learned to share. You learn to play fair, not to hit people, to put things back where you found them, to clean up your own mess, to not take things that are not yours, 
to say sorry when you hurt somebody, to not lie, to not cheat, to flush when your business is complete, take a nap every afternoon, and most relevant today, to wash your hands often. What you learned in kindergarten is to be a good person. Similarly, when songwriter Lori McKenna was frustrated because her children would not listen to her, she determined to write down her guidance in the form of lyrics to a song. Maybe this would get her kids' attention, she thought. Her song was later recorded by country artist Tim McGraw, entitled Humble and Kind. Now, her kids and the rest of the world learn from her simple but impactful and principled words. I'd like to share a few words that may be familiar to you from that song. She writes, hold the door, say please and say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. I know you got mountains to climb, but always stay humble and kind. When the dreams you're dreaming come to you, when the work you put in is realized, let yourself feel the pride, but always stay humble and kind. Don't expect a free ride from no one. Don't hold a grudge or a chip, and here's why. Bitterness keeps you from flying. Always stay humble and kind. This is my challenge to each of you. Simply be a good person. Remember to say please and to say thank you. Stay humble and kind as you climb the mountains to your dreams. Today you are moving forward and beginning to script not just the chapters, but volumes of your biography. And as you do, be sure to thank those who helped you get here and take time to celebrate your achievements. Congratulations, Pine Creek Class of 2020. I wish you a successful, hopeful, and fulfilling future. Be well and be safe. Thank you. And now, I'd like to welcome back to the podium, Ms. Colette Beck. Class of 2020, collectively, you've had a year of achievement. This year, we had 250 seniors take 850 AP exams. Many of you are AP scholars, which indicates you earned a three or higher on three or more exams. AP scholars with honors, which indicates you have scored a three or higher on four or more exams. And AP scholars with distinction, which indicates you have taken more than five exams and have earned a three or higher on each. 116 seniors have earned higher than a 4.0 grade point average while in high school. And there are 166 seniors graduating with honor and distinction. 85 seniors have participated in the National Honor Society this school year. Among you are students who will attend the most prestigious colleges, universities, and military academies in America. More than 90% of you are pursuing higher education in the fall. 20 seniors will be serving our country next fall as, en as enlisted ROTC scholarship recipients or academy appointees. You have set high goals for future pursuits, and we are proud of your work ethic and perseverance. More than 40% of this class has earned an individual scholarship, and together you have earned more than $14 million in scholarship. In this graduating class are those who have achieved in the top 10% in the nation on college entrance exams. Early, earning nearly perfect scores on the ACT and SAT, and many have been recognized as outstanding scholars through the college application processes. You are better scholars, presidential, chancellor, provost, Daniels, Kane, and community scholars. Pine Creek is home to two of the city's best and brightest. At Pine Creek, we have 15 honor societies representing every academic endeavor our school offers. More than 180 seniors in the class of 2020 are members of these honor societies. You have won Young People's and Congressional Art Show Awards, as well as numerous state scholastic art contests in ceramics, 2D, and graphic arts. Our Knowledge Bowl team were regional champions. The Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society and HOSA Future Health Professionals competed at the regional and state levels with tremendous success as well. Members of the class of 2020 served as editors-in-chief for the yearbook, and seniors led the staff of the award-winning news broadcast, PCTV. Seniors participated in the national speech and debate competitions and won awards in humorous interpretation, poetry, program oral interpretation, 
and congressional debates. In this senior class, our DECA members led our three student-run businesses, the Creek Cafe, the Early Eagle Coffee Shop, and Creek Connect Concessions. 50 seniors participated in DECA, 29 qualified for Colorado State competition, and 12 qualified to attend the DECA International Career Development Conference. Numerous seniors participated in AVID and completed their four-year academic commitment, as well as their community service hours. Seniors in FBLA competed with success at the district and state levels and successfully led a no smoking and vaping campaign at the school. Our student council, led by outstanding executive and senior officers, ran assemblies, dances, and special events throughout the school year. They were responsible for engaging in school spirit, community service, and student recognition this school year. This year, members of the class of 2020 were selected for the Colorado All-State Choir. The Pine Creek Choirs received superior ratings at the Chassa Large Group Festivals. The Pine Creek Choirs continue to amaze and delight audiences with over 30 performances in the community, local businesses, nursing homes, and schools. The fall brought to Pine Creek's theater production a Christmas carol. Our seniors had major roles in the production and finished the year as accomplished members of the International Thespian Society. Our instrumental programs had an outstanding year as well. The marching band qualified for the finals of the state marching band competition. The symphonic and concert bands had outstanding showings at state competitions, as did the orchestra and jazz ensembles. Our bands perform at multiple community and school events. Their time and talent is recognized and appreciated all over the city and the state. Our seniors have given food, blood, coats, shoes, and money to support many worthy causes and organizations in Colorado Springs and beyond. This senior class has provided community service through Creek in the Community, Friends of Rachel, Sources of Strength, and numerous honor societies, as well as many outside organizations where they have amassed thousands of volunteer hours. The class of 2020 is quite outstanding. Wouldn't you agree? Among you are the city's and state's best athletes. This year, Pine Creek was crowned league champions in six different sports and outperformed all other league schools to win the 5A Colorado Springs Metro League Cup for the eighth time in nine years. Most of Pine Creek's athletic teams participated in or had individual athletes that qualified for postseason competition many advancing deep into the playoffs. There were league championships in boys tennis, golf, basketball, soccer, hockey, and wrestling. A first ever league championship was earned by our boys basketball team. The men's soccer team was in the state final four, and the football team was the state champion for the fourth time in seven years. The football team closes out the decade with the second most wins in the entire state of Colorado. Many members of this class received all league and all state recognition in their respective sports. We are proud to acknowledge that our seniors earned accolades as Rotary champions, league and regional champions, and many of our senior led athletic teams have earned the Colorado High School Activity Association's academic team state championship. Amazingly, more than 30 of you are planning to participate in athletics at the collegiate level. Finally, this group of young people have persevered and endured challenging life events, such as a global pandemic, moving to e-learning overnight, and missing out on special events such as spring athletics, senior prom, senior lunch, awards, sunset, and the passage assembly. Also, not stepping back into their school after March 13th until this week when it was time to check out. Despite these disappointments, the class of 2020 maintained positive attitudes and finished as they started, as a cohesive group who chose to maintain their positive outlook and belief that there is much to celebrate now and in the future. I would be remiss not to state, in addition to every accomplishment I have mentioned, the class of 2020 are just all great kids. They say good morning, they hold the doors open, they ask if you need help, they have great school spirit, and they brought citywide fame to a plastic goose. Wow, what a terrific group of young people. Thank you, class of 2020. I am truly humbled by your accomplishments. 
On behalf of the staff at Pine Creek High School, class of 2020, I wish you happiness, good health, and much success. Mrs. Reynolds, it is with great pride that I present to you the members of the Pine Creek High School class of 2020. I hereby certify that these young men and women have met the requirements for graduation from the Academy School District. I recommend with enthusiasm that each of the 436 members of the class of 2020 are to receive their diplomas today. On behalf of the Board of Education of Academy District 20, I accept with pride and pleasure the 2020 graduating class of Pine Creek High School. Mrs. Beck, thank you and your staff for an outstanding job.
Class of 2020, I have the great privilege of announcing to your families, friends, and the staff of the Academy School District that you are now graduates of Pine Creek High School. Please move your tassels from right to left to signify the end of this great journey. Congratulations and best wishes, Class of 2020.